Hi and welcome to a new format at Meeting C++ called uh, Just C++. Um, this is a bit inspired by the work of Jason, but also by my own work with video editors and uh, live streaming. I thought, why not just use this also to record uh, some, you know, episodes about just where I talk about C++, where I talk about C++ I've written, or which I've seen, which I found cool. And today, the first episode is, yeah, it's called uh, Generic Code, and I want to talk a bit about... Um, it's not, you know, I'm not going to cover like all of templates, but I'm just um, done. I want to uh, talk about code which I wrote today and um, also want to answer like the, the question, um, when should you write generic code? And in my opinion, you should always write generic code when you have a problem twice. So the first time you can solve it like in, in your domain, but if you have the, the same problem somewhere else in the code or in a, in a similar manner, you should think about uh, would it make sense to write a template for that? And that's what I did today. Um, so if we go to, if we go in the code, um, this is the part of code which I'm talking about. This is the original code. Um, it's been lightly refactored. It's from a Dlib example, uh, which shows how to correlate faces and. Um, Way up here, we see a little bit of dlib code, which uh, actually does this um, loading of this file of uh, a model for a neural network. And then later, um, we get the face descriptor, uh, descriptors, um, kind of, you know, from, from a vector of faces, we get the face descriptors, which is a, a vector. And um, then in the original code down here, you see we, um, you know, go over every face and compare it with every other face, which hasn't been compared yet. Um, and then have this length function of dlib where we, uh, you know, subtract the, the two faces which we are currently correlating. And then we see if the threshold is below a certain point, then it's a match and um, we um, create a pair in the edges. Um, and this kind of creates a graph which is then later used in Chinese whispers to uh, cluster um, faces which are, which are similar to together. Um, and yeah, so this is the part of the code which I want to talk today um, because uh, I have a second idea actually also um, correlated to Jason Turner. Jason uh, I presented some of this code at uh, C++ now and Jason was like, I thought about doing something similar with histograms. And I was like, yeah, Dlib is able to do histograms and that's what I'm currently working on. And so today I wrote the histogram runner. And so these are both um, runner classes which are um, derived from QObject to be able to uh, emit uh, signals to the main thread and they're running on in a thread pool and they're doing their job there. And so then I had the same problem again. I, I want to correlate now the uh, every histogram of every picture is every other histogram to, to see, you know, which are which are like, you know, which are like pairs and then later display that in, in, in a correlation manner. And so I thought, well, I, I could, you know, classic copy paste this code into the new code base and just change it in networks. But I thought, why not write a generic function? And that's what I did. And also it showed that this wasn't so easy as I thought, because um, in the first uh, way I did it, I, I need like one thing and then the other way I need two. I need I need a threshold and I need a margin in the second case. In the first case, I just need a threshold. And um, so this is a template function. It takes a container, it takes a correlation lambda, and it takes a variadic arcs because I don't know how many arguments you want to forward uh, to this correlate. And that's what I'm doing here. Um, by the way, I think I should take the arcs then if I forward them as, uh, you know, reference. Let's do this quickly. So, yeah. Minor oversight on my side, but currently it's anyways only pots which, you know, don't really matter in that case. Um, so this function now just, you know, we declare the, the, the return type at the beginning, so we get the best out of our VO. 
and um, then simply go over the container and go over the second time this, you know, the same code um, and then call the lambda which returns true if the match if there's a match or not and in this case it is you know item which we're currently comparing and the current item in, in the second loop and then we forward the arcs and if this matches we put in the pair and we're done and with this i'm able to reduce my code size i can basically delete this code and in both in where, where i do the work where, where i have the runner i just call correlate and i'm done um so this makes the code much cleaner and you see that there was a in the combination of uh, variadics and uh, lambdas allows you to create uh, create customization points in your own code which is generic to actually call uh, back into your um, non-generic code where you want to create certain things or where you have to um, you know also you know if, if you noticed um, in this case uh, I'm using less but in the other case I'm using greater than, which is not in the generic code, of course it's here. See, it's greater than the, so. And yeah, that way we can, you know, customize that. And um, in both cases, it's, it's not a comparison against equalness. It's a comparison against, uh, you know, a certain threshold and or a correlation. And of course this method also could take uh, in uh, Lambda, which just goes on equalness and uh, with the forwarded arguments we easily can um, make sure that any situation where we're in is covered with this generic code and that's almost it there's one more thing the call for talks for meaning c plus plus in this year is running and i'm definitely reaching out to a lot of um in the community to new people uh to submit talks to the conference uh, I want to, um, this year we, ha we have a little bit more talks needed than usual because we have uh, three days of the conference and not two days of the conference. And so we are reaching out um, to everyone who wants to give a talk about C++. If you have something to say, think about submitting a talk. Uh, the deadline is next week, but I think as this is also the week where I return to Germany, I'm probably going to uh, have this deadline moved by a week or something. So if you like it, go to municipp.com and uh, submit your talk if you want to speak about something at my conference. And with that, thank you for watching. First episode done. Great, isn't it? Bye.